Hello everyone, another fantastic magical morning and today we're gonna keep on ranking up in diamond playing some of the new cards from uh, Outlaws of Thunder Junction. And today it's gonna be Teamer Aggro. <laughs> Teamer Aggro slash ramp with double gang and uh, a lot of powerful cards that are not legendary which is besides of course uh, Kellen. Uh, so what new cards we have here? We have Railway Brawler, 5 and a 5, 5 with a plot 4 and plot a mechanic as you may pay the plot cost and then the following turn you can pay it for 0 the card at a sorcery speed. It's a 5 and a 5, 5 reach trample. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control put X plus 1 plus 1 counters on it where X is its power. Pretty strong. It can all snowball pretty well with double gang. Then we have Terror of the Peaks. I love this card in uh, M21 when we played back then, if you were a fan of me. It's a 5 mana 5 for flying. Spells your opponent cast a target's Terror of the Peaks. Costs an additional 3 life to cast. And whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, Terror of the Peaks deals damage equal to that creature's power to any target. Which is really strong if you are playing, you know, creatures with high powers. Another creature that plays with cre other creatures having high power is the Valborn Tyrant, which I've been playing a couple of times. You're probably sick of seeing it, but I am not. I love it. 7666 Dinosaur Trample. When enters the battlefield or another creature with power 4 or greater enters the battlefield under your control, you gain 3 life and draw a card. If this were to die and it's not a token, you get a copy of it. That's You get it again, essentially. And uh, what all these things have in common is that they would work really, really great together with Doppelgang. So we're going to ramp with Glimpse, Top Your Stomper, Ancient Cornucopia. I know, you've seen it quite a bit. I love it. And also Invasion to Zenicar. So if you go this, 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 you have 8 mana, this, you get a double copy of whatever you're targeting, right? So you can take 2 copies of Alban Tyrant, or 2 copies of Terror of the Peaks, and just smash the opponent. Doppelgang is so good. Simic mana XXX for each X of target permanence, create X tokens that copies of that permanent, which means that for 5 mana you copy one token, the one permanent. For 8 mana you copy two permanents twice. For 11 mana you copy three permanents three times, and so on and so on. So yeah, and then finally we also have good old fashioned storm the festival, six mana. Look at the top five cards of your library. You may put up to two permanent cards with mana value five or less from among them onto the battlefield. Put the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order with a flashback cost of 10. So yeah, if you play this and you get, you know, it's Terror of the Peaks plus Railway Brawler, and then you just watch the opponent just die. So yeah, it's a very, very aggressive ramp teamer. Yeah, I'm sure it's gonna be great. <laughs> So let's try to, we're in the, I don't know which rank we are, but I think we're diamond rank 3. So let's keep on going or rank 2. I think, we, no, diamond rank 2. We're in diamond 2. Let's try to go to diamond 1 with this deck. Uh, so yeah, let's go. Okay, opponent gets to go first. Uh, but it's fine, we have ramp, ramp, ramp and terror. So, I mean, I'll take it against Tani. Tani's playing black, like everyone else is doing. Okay, turn two nothing. We we'll like to see it. Let's go ahead and glimpse a little bit. See what we see what we get here. So the question is, do we do invasion or do we do stomp stomper? And mana efficiency obviously says Zendikar rising. Uh, invasion of Zendikar. Stomper can attack into invasion, but this way we can get Terror of the Peak out faster. So I go with this. And then next turn we can rally brawler plot and play at the stomper. Or we just play at the terror of the peak and absorb a uh, removal spell. Wow, nothing. Uh, so I think we do that, we plot here. This rhino is so cool. And then, oh, well, we want to have enough mana for, enough green for our stomper. Okay. And then we stomp. And then we get 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we can play out the Terror of the Peak and another Stomper. Sure. I wonder if we play Counter Spells. Definitely holding removal. So let's get you out right away. Maybe we can get him to get rid of it. Or counter it. It does not. Peak out. My god. <laughs> Uh, 10 9. 
Now that is one bulky t <laughs> the, t uh, the dragon. Stomp around. Yep. And we can shoot the invasion. Uh, this is just pure power. I'm sorry, Tana, your rectum is not going to be able to handle it. Another four. Uh, we can shoot you, actually. No, let's go face. Land out and let's uh, hit him for 12. Do you think he will block or just take it? Or Salt Rope. Salt Rope is also a possibility. I'll hit, I'll hit with an 8-8 eight, eight and a 4-4. Four, four. Both Vigilance. <laughs> he just takes it. Ah, uh, Tawny. Tawny, 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 Tawny. And that's it. Next game. Opponent gets to go first again. That sucks. We have Ramp, we have Brawler, and we have Doppelgang. So maybe in a way we can actually pop off really fast. 10 Krizgy. He gets black again. Wow. Kill Supriz. He has some cool sleeves that give him that. Okay, coolish procession. Let's go ahead with Glimpse again. And then again, we are at the question invasion. To invasion or not invasion. We could also plot on our turn 3. Undead Butler. Maybe this is a. No, it's not a vine stack. So we have all the red mana for terror. I think we do invasion, honestly. It's nice to pl <sighs> Let's plot. It's a new card. Hmm. Okay, uh, adversary, sure. One damage done. So, can play you out, you out. Uh, let's go for the blue mana. And uh, we can kill the procession, that's fine. So now we exploded into 13 power that we're gonna be able, be able to attack next turn. Sadly, we cannot. Um, we can't use doppelgang to double double tokens, which is unfortunate. Don't you have removal? Yes, something. I'll take this, no problem. Crawl from the cellar. Yeah, these are cool, these sleeves. Okay. Big creature, huh? That's pretty cool. So we can do both. Do you think he'll block my stomper with the behemoth? Or do you think he'll let me have my flipped version of uh, Invasion Syndicate? I don't know. It's an 8 8. Will you block it? I'm gonna get another 8-8 eight, eight if you don't block it. Another 8-8. Eight, eight. No, you won't let me have it. It's fine. The next turn is gonna be really fun. Let's move. We're gonna have some power. Okay. Yeah, I'm not gonna block that. Okay, so now we can do three copies. You, you... Actually... Yeah, we do like this. We're not gonna get them in the lands, obviously, because we don't have them in the basics left. Yeah, we're just gonna get these two, but it's fine. Four lands. Yeah, decline. It's a pretty good board. A 40-40 Rhino and 64-64 Stomper. Let's take a look at the board again. Hold on a second. I gotta bask in the glory here. Come on. 
look at this. 64, 64. Uh, only in gruel, huh? Only in gruel. Uh, teamer. Okay, we could go first and one land says no go. <laughs> this is a little bit better. Uh, we can get rid of one of the tyrants. And uh, yeah. These lands are so cool. But we need to have green mana on our turn too, so we're doing this. Against Faldwin. Maybe we're a close relation to the Baldwins, who knows? Okay, let's go ahead and ramp. Okay, Ocelot. Oh, that is perfect. It turns out we are going to have a storm the festival mana next turn. Let's get red. <laughs> right. So we can tie. If we get land, I think I'm gonna tyrant honestly. If we don't get land, we're gonna storm the festival. Maybe we terror first actually. I think we go terror first, so we can get some good procs of the storm the festival. Let's see if the opponent has any ossifications or anything lame like that. No, Dusk Duelist. No one really cares. Sure. Alright, so we got the land. We could Tyrant also, or just Terror the Peak. Yeah, let's do this. We have our machine guns going. Shoot this. We attack into the invasion, and now we can shoot uh, the rest of his board. And pray he doesn't have a sunfall. That would be so boring. We can choose. F yeah, let's get rid of his board. Or at least that. The one one I don't really care about. Gain some left. I'm very curious to what Storm the Festival will bring next <laughs> next turn. But you gotta hand it to a point, if he doesn't concede here against two Terror of the Peaks and one Awakened Skyclave, I don't know, like, come on. Okay, Hydra, sure. He attacks. I can block here, it's fine. You get some treasures. The Hydra is cool too, yeah. Let's see what we get here. Oh ho ho ho, that is uh, 18 damage. <laughs> oh come on dude, it's all fun and games. Okay, we get to go first, this hand is really sweet. <laughs> we have ramp, 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 and then eat the opponent up. This can't be fair. Whenever Cure Chise is ready, of course, with his ugly ass sleeves. Back is killing me. Do not record MTG Arena content on the floor. Do it at a desk. Okay, alright, here we go. Tap that out. Core, Stomper, Zendikar, Tyrant. Opponent concedes. Or should concede at least. Okay. Black again, huh? I've seen so many more black decks. They are everywhere. Let's go ahead and get another forest, another forest. Okay, oh, come on, dude. So Stomper or Invasion, what do you think he's gonna take? One eternity later. Okay, I did not not see that coming. Uh, do we plot again then? What do we do here? Stomper is good in case we want to flip invasion next turn. But uh, yeah, we'll go with that then. Invasion would have been better if we wanted to potentially find a. If we, have a double, if we draw a double gang, we have mana available right away. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, well, easy game. Alright, opponent gets to go first, and let's see if he can gatekeep me from diamond rank 1. And this hand is pretty good. We doppelgang, ancient cornucopia out, we have turn 4 Terror of the Peaks. I can't complain. Okay, Rakdos, huh? Alrighty. Fast land out. Okay. 
Okay, Fairy Dream Thief. Okay. Never seen that in Rakdos before. Something I don't know is gonna happen. And he kept on top too. Huh. Well, we have L nothing, nada to do here. But it's nice to get the Zendikar. No, don't get me wrong, Zendikar is really cool here. Turn 3, do you have your squee? Was it like the fourth fucking bat? What are you gonna take? We gotta take the cornucopia, otherwise it would make no sense. Or maybe it's like, oh, if he. Oh, wow. I did not expect invasion. But I guess invasion is making uh, Doppelgang available. You're gonna attack? Or just uh, wait me. It will make me wait. How do you play Rakdos and have Azorius sleeves? That is just. Not cool. Hello. Okay. All right then, let's ramp. Oh God, I can take so much fucking time, dude. Just play. I got things to do. Thank you. Skitter, sure. This is some weird, aggressive, I don't know. Thing is, he's gonna sit, be sitting with a lot of removal spells. The question is, do we want to just plot? Hmm. Okay. I think we plot, because then we can play out Terror of the Peaks next turn, and then play out our plot, plot a creature, and then shoot the cavern bat or we play out their plotted rhinosaur first and get a big terror. See if he taps his lands or if he's just going to hold both removal spells open. Okay, Storm the Festival is also pretty sweet here. Give me something good. Give me a life. the best. I guess we get to ramp here a little bit. Get you out, gain a life. I think he has removal. Yeah, I must have a double removal here. I'm sure he wants to kill the railway brawler. Okay, if we get a land now, we can double double gang. Sure. He's gonna attack. He wants to eat that, of course. Makes sense, makes sense indeed. Oh, maybe he doesn't have anything. We didn't get the land, though. So we can play Terror and uh, play Glimpse, or we can play Rail. We can plot another rail 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 Railway Brawler. So I think that's a good idea, and Ramp. Because then we can play out the Railway Brawler and then also play the double gang for two. Um, get a lot of counters. Because the Railway Brawler, you see, have Trample. Works really great together with double gang. Could also just play Terror. If it doesn't have removal spell, Terror plus double gang would just win us the game. Hmm. Might just be too fun, and the opponent is roping because why not? Why not? We're not gonna attack. Okay. I'm falling asleep here, dude. Just do something. I guess he wants to draw a card. With this ability. Yep. <laughs> I think we go with you then. If he really doesn't have any um, spells, uh, removal spells. Play you. Play you. Shoot you. Oh, 
we just attack? Eh, I want to keep the mana. And then hopefully the opponent is kind enough to let us double gang. Yeah, that's flying, mate. You can't block that. Come on. Down to 13. Alright. Do not concede, opponent. Oh my god, so lame. But hey, we got their teamer attack. Diamond rank 1. Feels pretty damn good. There we go. Alright, so we got his Diamond Rank 1 playing this really, really fun deck. And yeah, Railway Brawler is fantastic. Terror is just as fun. And Tyrant is just fun too. And excuse me. All these three cards are fantastic. And they're not legendary, which means Double Gang works really, really fun with these. Double Gang Mana is not so hard with our, you know, our Ram spells here. And yeah, I was really, really happy with this deck. And if you have the cards, give it a go. And with that being said, uh, thanks so much for watching till the end. You rock. Like and subscribe and... Have a good fucking day!